hello students how are you all i hope you are happy and healthy children as we have completed our previous session developing shraddha today we are going to start our new session that is session number 8 the topic of this session is being a truth seeker so children i would like to tell you first the meaning of truth truth is the metaphysics and the philosophy of language the property of sentence assertion beliefs thoughts or propositions that are said in ordinary discourse of agree with the facts or to state what is the case believing what is not true is apt to spoil people's plan and may even cost them their lives now children i would like to tell you the definition of truth truth is the aim of belief falsity is a fault people need the truth about the world in order to thrive truth is important believing what is not truth is apt to spoil people's plan and may even cost them their lives telling what is not true may result in legal and social penalties coversely a dedicated pursuit of truth characterize the good scientist the good historian and the good detective so what is truth that it should have such a gravity and such a central place in the people's life definition of truth can be divided or you can be separated from two three points that is the body of real things events and facts that is actuality the state of being the case fact and the often capitalized a transcendent fundamental or spiritual reality and if you will see a judgment a proposition or idea that is true or accepted as true truth of the theoremidemics the property as of a statement of being in accord with fact or reality chiefly uh, if you will say fidelity to an original or to a standard sincerity in action character and utterance arcanic fidelity contentsty capitalize christian science said god god is the true definition of truth truth is god as we often said and this is the real meaning of truth truth is also you can say the second name or the synonym of god fact facticity factuality truth truthness ver- verity and the antonyms of this uh, truth is falseness is falsity and untruth now example of truth in a sentence if i would like to give you at some point you have to face the simple truth that we faced their explanation was similar but came closer to the truth so here children truth is a powerful weapon of any any righteous person truth we can use as a weapon weapon is not going to destroy anyone but it will give the fruit of love and kindness so children this is the motto of truth now children i would like to tell you there are four types of truth so the four types of truth are uh, you can say that first of all we should understand that uh, what are the three nature of truth so children the three most widely accepted contemporary theories of truth are correspondence theory the semantic theory of 
Tarski and Davidson and the default general theory of the Fritsch and the Ramsey. The competing theories are coherence theory and the pragmatic theory. If we will say truth be told there are four types of truth. First is objective, second is normative and third is subjective and fourth is the complex truth. So because these are the um, you can say philosophy or truth but actually the nature of life is dependent on the truth. The period of the person or daily existence transmitted by natural acts opposed to civil death and now this is the truth. Death is truth, life is truth, birth is truth. These are all truth which you can say these are the complex truth of life. And the people those who are common people they are not able to understand. So if we will see what is the important of truth in our life that is really really good to see that the importance of truth, truth matters both to us as individual and to the society as a whole. As individual being truthful means that we can grow and mature learning from our mistakes. For society truthfulness makes social bonds and lying and hypocrisy break them. So this is called truthfulness. This is the importance of truth. So children, today we are going to learn how to become a truth seeker because as I told you many times, you know the truth and truth will deliver you. Truth will give you freedom. Truth will give you uh, happiness. Truth will give you uh, completeness. Nothing in the world can give you peace, but truthfulness always gives you peace in your mind. Be honest. This is your truthfulness. This is your, you can say, faithfulness towards your work, towards your society, towards your family. If you are honest, so you are following the truth. So children become a truth seeker, not a false seeker. So children, here today we are going to discuss being a truth seeker, what are the things required? So how do people search for the truth? A truth seeker is a person who searches the truth in anything. First of all, we should understand because if we will become a truth seeker, we will search, we will uh, find out the truth in any of the object. So a truth seeker in a person is a person who searches for the truth in anything. How do people search for the truth? Let's explore this thought, some examples. Now children, here one character is given, Rekha. Rekha is searching the truth scientifically. So children, here you can see, she asks question with the curiosity to know the deeper truth. Why is the water making people fall ill. Now she experiments to find out what works practically. What will happen I add this chemical to the water. The observers and the studies thinks closely to deepen her understanding before arriving of at the truth. There are some red spots in the water what does that mean? So she started finding out why is this water making people fall ill. So 
So after that, after making some chemical with the water, she come to the conclusion there are some red spots in the water. What does not mean? What does it mean? Now children, thus I too can awaken my possibility being a truth seeker by searching for truth scientifically. Children, we believe in truth. So, we have to search everything scientifically. Why the sun rises? How the solar system works? These things we have to ask. We have to search. And these searches you can find everywhere. This is the truth. We have to know that what is the cause behind this. We have to search what is the cause behind this. This is scientifically search children. Science gives you freedom to search the cause and the reason behind any object which you can see universally. Children, we must search, we must be a good student of science, we must do some practical thinking to search out why the green are, the leaves are green. So we know the truth because this it is, uh, you can say it is uh, uh, very much assured by scientist. So this is the way we can find the truth and we know this that because of the chlorophyll our leaves are green. So these are the scientific truth, universal truth that was searched by scientists. Why they were so worried about that? Because they wanted to search the truth, the cause behind this. So this is, I am telling you that by searching for truth scientifically, we can assure that whatever we are learning, this is truth. This is not false teaching. So you have to justify yourself first and then you start believing on it. Because if you are having any doubt, so the confusion will remain same and you will not learn the truth. So children, be very cautious when we are searching the truth scientifically because facts required. Okay? So children, by searching for truth scientifically, we can able to gain, we are can able to find the truth. Now children, if we will see, meet Mr. Prakash Sinha, a judge in the high court. Mr. Sinha is searching for the truth in a case to give justice. Children here you can see. Truth is very much entangled with justice. The lawyers are fighting with the facts in their court. And the judgment seat always required the fact and the truth. If anyone is victim, if anyone is defaulter, the judgment seat will give the correct judgment on the basis of fact, on the basis of the proofs. So children, if we will talk about Mr. Prakash Sinha, a judge in the high court, who is guilty in this case? He asks question to go deeper to find out the truth because this is important children. If the person is not finding out the truth, so he or she is not suitable for the seat. Now here children you can see, he asks question to go deeper to find out the truth. He understand all the argument of the lawyer 
of both sides. He listens carefully to all the witnesses and checks whether they are being truthful or not. Be carefully, he carefully studies all the evidence or proofs presented in the court. After thinking about all of this, he makes a judgment on what is the truth. So children, if we have already searched, we have already focused on the argument of the two lawyers, they are defending some is the defender and some is the offender. But here children, the judgment seat, those who are sitting on the throne of the judgment, he or she will decide after listening the careful statement and witnesses and he must justify the statement and witnesses, whatever the coming out from the opposition or the favor. Is it true or not? How can he justify? He just believed on the evidence. Evidence which gave us saboot. Ye is din ye kaam hua. So ye kaam kaise hua? Uske liye kuch proof hona chahiye. Proof ke liye kuch receipt hoti hai. Kuch camera se clips hoti hai. These are the evidence which naked the reality, which can naked the reality. So reality, to search the reality or real situation or who is the defaulter and who is the victim, that has to be decided by the judge and judge believe in fact and the uh, studies of the evidence and after thinking after uh, you can just like a puzzle when it uh, you can say when it's fit with in the series so it will become a picture picture will be clear and this big picture will give the judgment the chote chote part ko chote chote cheezo ko chote chote facts ko जब जोड़ के एक सीरीज में देखा जाता है तो उसका इफेक्ट उसकी पिक्चर सामने आ जाती है तो दिस इज द वर्क ऑफ अ जज टू सी द मैटर केयरफुली एंड आफ्टर दैट गिव जजमेंट व्हिच इज करेक्ट जजमेंट मस्ट बेस्ड ऑन ट्रुथ व्हाट एवर द इफेक्ट हैज गिवन इन द कोर्ट the judgment will be decided on that truth. So children, first we have done that, we have learned that scientifically we must, we must prove the truth. And after that, on the evidence, on the proofs, we can prove the truth. We can understand the truth. So thus I too can awaken my possibility of being a truth seeker. Now first thing we have learned by searching the truth scientifically, by searching for truth in society to live in justice, equality and freedom. If we are following law and order, so I don't think we will do any mistake. So. If we want to live in justice, so we must follow the rules and regulation. We must follow the principle of equality. And as I told you, if we are truth seeker, if we are finding the truth, if we are searching the truth, so we will live in freedom. Of course, because truth never gives you burden on your heart. It's give you peace and freedom. Children always remember this. Children in our next video we will learn search of truth in his relationship with Ajay.
It means we can search the truth if we are in relationship. How can we do the things with truthfulness and honesty in our family also? So that is also a base of truthfulness, children. So children, follow the truth and truth will deliver to you. As I told many times, know the truth, search the truth, because truth will remain always same. It never change. Okay, children, so truth is God. Always remember the second name or you can the synonyms of truth is God. God is himself a truth. With this note, I would like to conclude my video. So children, we will meet again in our next video or we will learn how to become a really, really a truth seeker. So thank you so much for joining this session. Bye-bye and take care of yourself.